Hello everyone, this is Ian Schoes, and today I'm telling you about this new jig I'm making. But first, I'd like to thank you for the privilege it is to have your attention for these next few minutes. What you see here is a work in progress. I'm figuring out the finer details as I go along. The idea was inspired by Matthias Wandel's Quickset Tenon Jig, and I'll put a link in the description to his video on the subject, which I encourage you to watch as well. I wanted something that wouldn't require a micrometer, and I figured that a 10 to 1 reduction would be fabulous. The yardstick corresponds to 3.5 inches of travel, and the 1 8 inch increments let me eyeball a measurement down to a few thousandths of an inch, which is plenty accurate for a good well-fitting tenon. Now to keep this jig from getting too ungainly, and to try to decrease the consequences of measurement error, I designed this two-stage pantograph system. The lower right pantograph is a 3 to 1, excuse me, a 3 to 10, and the upper left pantograph is a 1 to 3. So 1 to 3, 3 to 10, the whole thing is 1 to 10. The sort of plunger that goes in and out. And it's going to ride in a track composed of two of these pieces. Sliding that in here, it's going to keep it tight. Okay, so I have the device mostly put together now. And just to show you it in action, note the sort of like a plunger on the left side, getting closer to the saw blade. I have deliberately arranged that this guy be long enough to cross, to reach the saw blade, and then I'll cut off this end. That'll give me a nice, perfect reference for where zero is. Okay, this will be cool. I'm gonna to get to use the machine to make the machine safety glasses hey right now this is an experiment piece maybe I'll make a better one later that the plunger had an insane amount of friction. So I kind of sanded it down a few different places where it seemed like it had a high spot. Now it's operating much more smoothly. Let's try to take a notch and see how this goes. So I set this to take a one inch notch one inch from the edge. I'm actually at uh, just a hair under one inch from the edge. If I look at the size of the notch, oh my god, it's dead on one inch. At this point, I'd like to give a shout out to Blake Wycliffe for coming the closest to guessing what in the heck this was on the Facebook image I posted. The jig is, we can call it done at this point. Uh, you've got your nice 10 to 1 reduction right here, good slide along the yardstick, and as I move this, this thing is moving one tenth as much. I've gotten the the sticking out of it, so it's it's pretty good. I mean, there might be a little play left in here, but for all intents and purposes, it does the job. I think it's great for a first try at something like this, and I've just finished using the jig to make this box joint right here, which you can't see very well because it's all in clamps, but once it's out of clamps and done with its glue up, I'll make sure to include some footage. Alright, I've been using the jig for a little bit of a while now, and it's functioning great for lining up grooves. I would still like to figure out a solution so that a tenon shoulder is a little bit easier to make using the jig, and if I ever get around to that, maybe I'll make another video. So I've really appreciated this opportunity to tell you about the jig, 
and I hope that you will like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.